I just finished testing this Williams WPC 89 power driver board and I want to show you a little bit about the general illumination circuitry. GI power comes from the transformer into J115 here and you can see on my test rig the top five wires are green and the lower one is green. Those would be yellow or yellow and white in your game. And the middle five here are blue on my test rig. The green wires are connected at the transformer to this ground reference. And these must be wired this way. The order of the wiring doesn't matter for the green wires or for the blue wires. But they must be five green wires, five blue wires, a green wire. And again, you can convert those colors to what you have in your game. After the GI power comes in, the, the blue wires here split off to each of five fuses and go directly to these pins on J120 and J121. The green wires split off and go to a triac. It's a BT138E, I believe, and it's a four quadrant triac. And the triac, along with the circuitry on the driver board and the CPU, is what allows the general illumination to dim. Signals are sent from J113, the ribbon cable on the driver board, to U1, the 74LS374, which then controls five 2N5401 transistors, which turn the triac on or off based on the zero cross circuit that is located up here to the left of the 7812. So that is how dimming occurs. And I can show you some dimming. Let me get this into test now. And you can see all five strings on my test rig are dimming correctly. Now the next question that comes up fairly often is, how do you measure general illumination power? So I have my meter set to AC voltage and this is a fluke meter. I would advise getting a decent meter if you're going to be in pinball very long. You don't want one of these El Cheapo $5 car store meters. Get yourself a fluke. It doesn't need to be a 179 like this, but the Fluke 101, for instance, at eBay or uh, Amazon is selling for about $50 is a good value. So you can measure <clears throat> power in to the GI just by going in it between any of the blue and the green circuits. And it's 7.83 volts. Again, on yours, the colors may be yellow, yellow and white, or it may be multicolored depending on the vintage of your particular game. So input power is about 7.84 volts here. Now to measure the output power for the GI, we need to take into account this key pin. So the first string, is at pin one and we want to measure between pin one and pin six so i'm doing that now and it's about 7.17 volts ac so you measure between pin n and pin n plus five let's say generally until you get past the key pin once you get past the key pin you're at pin four here which is the second last one so you need to measure did I say that right? Yeah, you need to measure against the second from the left general illumination circuit. So the fifth circuit is all the way to the left, and we got 7.18. So this power driver board is doing what it should. Let's just for giggles see what happens when you dim a circuit. So let me get on the red circuit, 7.18. And you can see the voltage has dropped down to 2.1 or so. Now I'm increasing the voltage. This is because the triac is doing something called uh, pulse width modulation or pulse frequency modulation. So it's letting that AC voltage through at increasingly uh, broader widths. So that's all there is to it. That is how you measure um, AC voltage on a power driver board. Now, can you measure AC voltage by not going from voltage in to voltage out? Well, no, you can't. You have to measure between the voltage coming in, say here, and the, and the return connection. 
for the AC voltage. Thank you for watching.